fish tank had something interesting happen for once. So to give you a con some context, right? This is what I've gleaned off of the Kiwi Farms. There is one contestant on the fish tank. They're competing for, uh, for what is it, $50,000, right? And Jet Netrune, the uh, Sam Hyde's second in command, a man who loves bussy, realized that this one contestant named Jimmy is particularly mentally unhinged and dangerous. And he wanted to goad him into a chimp out. So he basically set up the entire thing, the entire household, to become against uh, Jimmy. And Jimmy, because he was a tard, he, but he learned how to cope. He learned how to do uh, tard coping. If something happened that made him very angry, he would find an empty room and he would simply sit in there for a little bit, for about an hour, and calm down uh, to the best of his ability because, you know, people can still super chat him and stuff. But after Jet Neptune, uh, the bussy hungry uh, leader of the program, realized that Jimmy was uh, adequately coping with the duress that he was being placed under uh, and set the house against him, the chat also joined in. See, there, there's a way, there's a thing that you can buy. You can pay like hundreds of dollars to Sam Hyde uh, and you can close a room. So what will happen is you put in your hundreds of dollars and Jet Neptune will get will have his bussy porn interrupted uh, with a notification saying, we have to clear out this room. Someone paid out money for it. He will then send in people to remove everybody in that room and then lock the room for like an hour or something. Um, so when this guy, Jimmy, started to do his, uh, his tarred business and we'd try to ch chill out and meditate a little bit in those rooms to handle the problems uh they would simply pay uh sam hyde money to kick him out of these rooms and put him back into the general population where he was uh overstimulated by what was happening eventually jet neptune uh told this girl i think her name is abby uh, that she must destroy a toy phone from what i've gleaned from people in the the thread i asked about this um the participants in jet neptune's little house of horrors will tend to cling to a little totem they will make an object their their safety blanket they will carry it everywhere with them and they will develop a a attachment to this object because it comforts them it's some kind of control like if you lose control in a situation you look for control and I assume that they're maintaining control by possessing an object. Uh, apparently they did this with a couple different uh, people in the last season did this too. They would all carry their totems. Anyways, Neptune told Abby, take this cricket mallet and destroy his telephone, his plastic toy telephone, uh, because it will cause great discomfort. Uh, and this uh, actually happened. Uh, so what he did, instant replay, Abby smashed telephone, and then Jimmy comes in, Jimmy angry, he takes the cricket mallet, and he literally slams it in her fucking face, and then uh, yells at her, storms back, he overturns the bed to block the door, she screams again at this point, because she's he's literally blocking off the exit, uh, and he grabs his telephone, and then they take him out of the house, and he is disqualified. Uh, apparently, immediately after this happened, uh, Sam Hyde put out an SOS on Twitter because apparently Jimmy was the only person in in the uh, in the event who was a active personality who could be goaded into doing stuff for content, and without him, there is no content factory on on the stream. So Sam Hyde immediately put out a flare and said, please, if you know a debilitating retard who can take the place of Jimmy for some extra cash, uh, let me know because this shit's dead in the water if we don't find somebody. 
Uh, we can't put Jimmy back in because he's violent and just assaulted a woman with a mallet. Uh, so that's the update on, on Fish Tank. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.